Yo, what's up guys, it's FX here, and I wanted to express some uh, thoughts on the UMG tournament that just concluded last night, pretty late, over in Atlanta, I think around 2.30 in the morning, local time, 11.30 for me. The event was, um, I don't know if it was one of the best or worst events ever, but could have been somewhere in between. Um, the gameplay was extraordinary. So many huge plays, especially in search, and um, just, just insane stuff was happening. Caught a lot of it on the live stream. Um, saw the uh, the Envy and Epsilon match on YouTube uploaded because for some reason the past broadcasts all got uh, privated or deleted off of their uh, Twitch profile. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, it's pretty unfortunate to be honest, very unfortunate, I was actually furious yesterday morning because I knew I wasn't going to be able to wake up in time to see it, but, you know, all of the other matches I saw, um, really, really good stuff, of course, congratulations to Complexity for the three-peat, and it was amazing how they literally could not see Caliber in search, you know, they went up 4-0 in that raid game. TP was fully streaked and just all hell broke loose. They lost, what was it, 6-4? Maybe they went up 4-2. But, I mean, they just crumbled. And then Express, they got their shit pounded in. Standoff, I think they lost 6-1 or 6-2. I mean, it was embarrassing. <laughs> but, to be honest, I wanted Epsilon to get there. You know, lately, I've been rooting for the villain just in every aspect of whether it's movies or sports or now gaming, you know, I tend to root for the villain and they are shaping up to be one of the best villains like ever. I mean, Killa is absolutely insane. You know, just three weeks ago, there was videos of him screaming at Parasite, you know, saying I'm going to keep talking like this and I'm going to post a free agent on fucking Twitter. Impact needs an anchor. Like, I mean, those guys are insane and miracles manages to complain about like the best stuff ever saying these kids eat on land and how uh, he's always saying he's three bar in line and then he goes to events and he just absolutely destroys and then, of course you have parasite <clears throat> in that slums hardpoint game well plus 20 of course he ends up starting to uh, scream at karma so if you don't know the video i'm talking about it's uh kill the choo choo train i've already seen it three times now because i'm a fucking loser and it's like probably the best video on youtube right now Comment section is great. It's unfortunate I couldn't get top comment. I just left commenting gods last night. Actually, maybe yesterday. Yesterday, no, it was last night. Um, but yeah, that's a great comment section right there. A lot of dislikes. And then Twitter, something happened on Twitter earlier, and I don't really give a shit because, um, I don't know. Just, I mean, if Nate shot and Optic is weighing in their opinions on. The whole thing it's like y'all didn't even play please go go start playing minecraft again you know i just i don't understand why anybody would like optic i mean what hmm. that's uh it's definitely a mystery to me but yeah the gameplay was really good um i think complexity only lost one respawn yeah they said that was a uh, hard point to unite unite was playing their ass off you know, Envy didn't get top 12 with that, for sure. Um, how ironic is that? S fucking Stainville plays his top 4 after getting dropped by Envy. <laughs> oh, that's great. But yeah, it took long as hell. Because they decided to show loser's bracket matches that are normally always on the side stage. So I think Complexity's winner's finals... And grand finals, I think there was six hours in between. I mean, that's that's insane right there. And there was just so much time in between matches. And, um, you know, they didn't play on Friday because they played the 2v2. And on Saturday, they had huge problems with the Epsilon Endure match. And in the first game, Killa, like, either quit or lagged out. By the time it got to like the grass hard point, 
and they didn't respawn restart the game and Epsilon still won by like 180 seconds and some kid named Mirage on Endure went 5 and 38 in a 3v4 and Parasite I think went like 52 and 18 and it looked like a league play match it's absolutely ridiculous and they didn't even restart the game and then the next game it was 3v4 raid search and somebody on the Endure team quit when it was 4-0 and, you know, they cut it off stream, and there was, like, I think there was, like, a 45-minute delay between that raid game and slums game. So, I don't really know what was going on with the event in that regard. And then, there was the commentary. Probably the worst commentary of all time, you know. I don't want to offend those guys. I mean, they'll never see this video, but, you know, they were trying their best, and there was a long Sunday. Jesus Christ, man. There's Turbo and Bishop and Reflections. This guy's name is Reflections, really? That's worse than replays. And, uh, and Cheeto? Jesus fucking Christ. Cheeto, man. Turbo with his too little too soon. I'll never forget that. That was fucking sick. Some of the worst commentary ever, I mean... It's like Cheeto would have like random points about teams that you'd have no idea were true because he's actually like inside the community and knows what he's talking about, but he doesn't do a good job of letting the audience know that he knows what he's talking about. And then Bishop, you don't know if he started playing the game like two weeks ago. Like I wouldn't be surprised if Gandhi and Maven know more about the game. Speaking of them, their game on Meltdown, that was fucking hysterical. The Night Vision Sniper. <laughs> that was great. Um, but yeah, that commentary, man, I, I think I could do commentary. You know, I might mumble or stutter a few times because, you know, sometimes talking for a long time can be hard, but I think I could do commentary and make good points. You know, Rambo's commentary was excellent. Um, some about his accent, though. It's, uh, but yeah, he definitely is a good commentator. And Golden Boy looked like a fucking hidden gem compared to all those other fools and I can't stand golden boy <laughs> um and Revan I don't know what's going on with Revan like he's an ex-player he played at Anaheim but then sometimes he just seems lost but yeah um team caliber man they may they they definitely surprised a bunch of people they didn't have the hardest winners bracket I think they had to play Merkin in the uh, semifinals, but you know, you still gotta win. And Epsilon, I'm gonna go back to them because they went on like a nine hour losers bracket run. And if they had made it to grand finals, they probably would have just gotten 3 0 by complexity because that I can only imagine being at an event and talking all of that shit and playing for that long. Like, kill his voice. He was, he sounded like this by the time they played Caliber. I mean, they were done. You know, they they still took a few games from them in that series. But Caliber had their number. They could not beat us. Nobody could beat them in search. And all they had to do was one win, one respawn. And it was over. But, um, I would, I was going to make, like, a UMG highlights video. But since the past broadcast got deleted, I can't do that. And I was going to combine, like, Nifty's Clutch against on JCAP. And Goonchar's fucking 1v3. And John's uh, four piece in search. That was sick as hell. Um, just a bunch of CTF plays. There's so many good plays. Excellent uh, event, but they need some better commentators. And they need to figure out what to do in between games. You can't have like a 12 minute break in between games that just says, We'll be right back. And play that sorry ass music. You know, and you can't have grand finals taking place at 2:30 Eastern. You know, you want to get to 40,000 viewers. You know, this ain't Dota 2. You're not going to have 40,000 12-year-olds awake at 2:30 in the morning on a Sunday night. So, even if school hasn't started, it's just not going to happen. Maybe an MLG, but not any uh, side MLG or side event. So, you know, I'm still rooting for complexity. Um. The ultimate thing for next event, 
I don't know if Epsilon and them are going to play in that Paris event, but I would love to see Stainville knock. Alright, no, this is what I would love to see in order of what it would happen. Envy to beat Epsilon in the winner's bracket. That would be fucking hilarious. And then um, Envy would, of course, probably get knocked in the loser's bracket after that because they wouldn't beat any other better team. And then for Stainville to eliminate Envy, that would be fucking hilarious too. And then have Epsilon make a loser's bracket run and uh, end up taking out Complexity in like a epic ass 11 game series in grand finals and then they would just explode and yeah but yeah I'm still rooting for complexity but I'd love to see Epsilon win and uh yeah that was a good event and hopefully be on YouTube if you all haven't seen it but um if you didn't know about the trash talk video I was talking about I think I already said it before but it's called Kill the Choo Choo Train I'm not gonna put it in the description because you all have uh search boxes right on YouTube I think so holy crap I almost forgot to talk about the other side of the FPS fest EGL man 13 teams wow dude I watched like maybe three games solo on everything that was flarkin sick man